Hello, it's Ruby, and today I'm going to be showing you this vlog of my last three days of term. Basically, I had three essays due on the 13th of December, the last day of term. Actually making very good progress. Coming to the end of my first paragraph, and what, only got like three left to go? Okay, I'm writing my main paragraph at the moment. If you're interested, I'm gonna tell you what my essay is about. I am considering how words which have a separate meaning in public discourse have taken on new meanings in the online space. And particularly I'm looking at internet trolls and basically exploring how previous meanings of a troll and like the evolution of the term affects the way that the word internet troll operates in discourse because it encourages othering of the person who is offering this hate. Just got myself some lunch. I've got some kale, potato salad, bagel pita, pasto and hummus. It's a lot later and still going strong. Um, it's like five, six o'clock and I'm very nearly there. I'm just finishing off now. I'm talking about trolls, and so I'm actually referencing the trolls in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is a very strange thing to be doing. So here I was just going through the Philosopher's Stone and the passage where the troll attacks Hermione, and I was just examining the language that Rowling uses here and how the troll is othered because of the it something language, which doesn't actually recognize him as a cognitive being. So the previous day I had finished my structuralism essay and here I was just going through that and making some edits. Let's get in the car and you'll drive, we're leaving tonight. I'm now just going to meet him with the extra team. They're really, really, really lovely. Been keeping our heads above water, struggling and striving. Then in the afternoon, after doing some food shopping, I went into town to meet my friends Blakeney and Sasha because we decided that we wanted to go for bubble waffles to celebrate the end of term. Noda's Waffles has only recently opened in Exeter and they have these incredible waffles. Look at those. It was just the most delicious, delicious thing. And afterwards we headed back to Sasha's. Blakeney and I left there around seven. On the way back, we came across this very interesting site next to the zebra crossing. Well, this is a great way to end the yeah. evening. <laughs> okay, it is pouring down with rain and I'm heading back to my accommodation to finish off my essays and it is a lovely lovely day and you know why because I have just voted in my very first general election like I've never voted in a general election before Essay one was my beginnings one on The Winter's Tale and this one didn't take me too long to go through. I just made a few final edits and made sure I was completely happy with it. Okay, I've just submitted one of the three. So I went through and I just kind of made sure I was completely happy with it. So happy this essay just took so, so stressful. And now we're going to do cat's eye and then we're going to do this the other one because that's the one that I think needs the most work. Then the second essay I was working on was my academic writing one and this is on cat's eye and again I did the same thing, just read through it, read it aloud, made sure I was entirely happy with it before I submitted it. Okay, just finished Cat's Eye. It's currently 10.20. Um, this is taking time and I'm just gonna submit it via bar. Bar. 
I was feeling very confident by this point, but then I went on to my structuralism essay and I realized I really wasn't happy with it. And so I worked on this for a couple of hours. I slowly but surely got more and more tired and I have never actually pulled an all-nighter before. I don't tend to study really late. So after my shower, I find it really funny because I just look instantly so much more tired in this clip. At around two in the morning, I got myself a banana because I was feeling really hungry. But then I did submit it. And I've got an 8.30 seminar tomorrow morning. Good morning. It's, what is it like? 6.20? Three hours later. I didn't actually sleep, but I listened to music and just kind of chilled. And now I'm up. I'm gonna go get some breakfast because I'm starving. I've literally been ravenous. But I didn't want to eat at like 3 in the morning because it just felt strange, I don't know. I'm gonna go get myself some breakfast and then wrap a present, write some Christmas cards and then do some like seminar prep. I then wrapped a present and also wrote these two Christmas cards. So both of these were to um, two of my seminar leaders. And I know some people think that it's strange for me to write thank you cards or Christmas cards to lecturers, but I've always been in the habit of thanking my teachers at the end of the term or the year because they do put so much effort into helping us. And I think a letter or card is a great way to show your appreciation. So. I've always been in the habit of doing this and I haven't stopped doing that even though I'm at university now. And then as I said, I also did some seminar preparation for Frankenstein. Then I headed to campus because I did have an 8.30 seminar. The seminar was really good, not that many people turned up which was kind of annoying, um, but it was still really good fun, we have had a good discussion. Well, this is very strange, I've got to say. Campus is so empty. At least over here it is anyway. This area is usually packed, and at the moment there is no one here. I just had my last class for the whole semester, and it was really good fun. I got to finish with my very favorite class, which is my beginning seminars. I'm really gonna miss them because I really have my seminar leader for this one. Yeah, and I'm gonna head back to my room. When I got back to my room, I needed to pack and clean and tidy because I was leaving for the Christmas holidays. So here I was just packing up my clothes. And of course I also needed to hoover because I didn't want to get back and have the carpet all dirty. I'm actually falling asleep. I'm editing. <laughs> My eyes are closing on me. But it's three, so I don't really want to, I don't want to have a nap now because I need to go to town. I'm gonna to give myself 10 minutes, power nap for 10 minutes, and I'm gonna go. Okay, it's currently 20 past four. I've just finished the video, just uploaded it, and now I'm gonna go out to town. I ordered a computer case, finally. I'm needing to get a, a computer case since 2015 when I got my laptop. And this one I really like was on sale, so I ordered it, but I didn't want to pay postage, so I'm gonna go to Kath Kidston to collect it. I went into town and I had a few errands to run.
And I bought this beautiful Christmas decoration from Tiger. It was one pound and it's just so cute. I was pretty much falling asleep in the car. I had some sleep to catch up on from the night before and just because I haven't been getting as much sleep as I should be getting recently. Okay, we just got to North Devon. Um, it's 11 o'clock and I'm very tired. Then this is the next morning it is the first day of the Christmas holidays and I woke up to this beautiful view, just so idyllic and picturesque. And we went to the beach in the morning before heading back, which was just so lovely. I love beaches in winter. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.